Join me in welcoming Paul Rykoff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, thank you, thank you. Give it up for Brian Williams, please. And, um, you know, I, I'm not the boss. Uh, Ray and our membership, you know, they're the boss. And, and that's what this is all about. They're the ones who make this organization go, and they're the ones who make evenings like tonight possible. But Brian, you know, huge thanks to you for being here for the third year in a row. Um, we have no finer advocate than Brian Williams. You know, you, please. You know, you never forget about us, and you make sure the country never forgets, and, and that's huge. Um, and congratulations on your new show. Um, if you need a third job, IAVA is hiring, so give us a call. Um, but welcome, everyone. Good evening, and for those who came out of town, welcome to New York City. Uh, it's a special night for us at IAVA. We have some amazing people celebrating Veterans Day, and we're bringing in the big guns. First. Our honorees are incredible. Corporal Aaron Mankin. Yeah, you can give it up, please. <laughs> you better get used to that tonight, buddy. Um, Aaron, Aaron is, a, is a hero to many of us in this room, and by the end of the night, you'll see why. Uh, Aaron, you've been in countless rooms like this over the last few years at galas, fundraisers, memorial services, supporting and celebrating so many other vets and family members, supporting us. Tonight, this is your night, and tonight, we all celebrate you. But let me tell you a story about Aaron. Aaron has an incredible sense of humor. He is a hero to me and so many others, and you'll hear about his amazing journey, journey over, over 60 surgeries, but there's something about Aaron that, that you always remember, and it's his sense of humor. Um, so earlier this year, Aaron and, and some of the folks from Operation Men were honored at a fundraiser, out of all places, the Playboy Mansion. Now, you can imagine, that's not the normal stomping grounds for a Marine Lance Corporal. Um, Hugh Hefner was there, his associates were there, Aaron walked up, cool as ever, walked up to the mic to speak and said, I'd like to thank you all for having me here today and for having the Operation Men folks here. You make us all feel so comfortable. You've really made us feel welcome. It's good to be in a room full of people who have actually had more plastic surgery than we have. <laughs> That's Aaron Mankin. And it's a story our second honoree, Stephen Colbert, would be proud of. And you all know that Stephen Colbert is funny, but tonight you'll see he's pretty damn tough, too. He's been to Iraq as many times as I have, and he even shaved his head in support of the troops, something I especially appreciate. And we're thrilled to have five-time Grammy Award winner Nora Jones, who will be here tonight for a special private performance for our veterans. Now, Nora, we've got your back. And if you ever need security, just let us know. We've got a lot of folks in this room who are volunteering. We've got a few other surprises in store for you all tonight. There won't be any charms. Brian, you're right, charms suck. But our community is really feeling the love right now, this week and in this room. We're grateful to be joined by the City of New York's public advocate, Bill de Blasio, by New York City Council Speaker and our friend, Christine Quinn, Police Commissioner Ray Kelly, former Governor Ten Strickland of Ohio, and John Rowan, the President of the Vietnam Veterans of America Foundation. Sorry, the Vietnam Veterans of America. Now, they're all here tonight, and you're all here tonight, with one goal, to make sure the love in this room lasts all year long and reaches our members in meaningful, powerful ways. We want to make every day Veterans Day. And many others have generously donated tonight, too, so I want to thank our sponsors, especially Walmart and Southwest Airlines, for serving as our dinner supporters. And we're especially happy to announce tonight that Southwest is now also the official airline of IAVA. It's pretty cool, right? 
Now, they're donating $200,000 worth of flights to IAVA in the next year. Um, but folks, please don't put me in a middle seat. I'm kind of big. A lot of other folks that we'd also like to thank who made tonight possible. The Alcoa Foundation, Mark Andreessen, our friends at CNN, Ann and Sean Coffey, the Stephen and Alexandra. You can give it up, absolutely. I like Sean too. The Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Foundation, the Colbert Report, Craig Newmark, Development Specialists Incorporated and Bill Brandt, Fisher Brothers, and especially our friend Mr. Arnold Fisher who's here tonight. He and his family have done more for our community than just about anybody on earth. <laughs> J.C. Penny, Jennifer, you, okay, we can clap after every one, that's okay. Let's do it, I'm, I'm happy, I, we appreciate them. Jennifer and Jonathan Allen Soros, Johnson and Johnson, J.P. Morgan Chase, who, ma who made a very smart hire with a young S Sergeant Todd Bowers, who we all think the world of. <laughs> Mission Essential Personnel. Look, you, supporting bets is not something everybody does, so we should definitely applaud for all of them. Stephanie and Ed Vick. And finally, Viacom. Now, I also want to thank our incredibly dedicated staff. They work hard. They never get the credit, and they never get their name in their paper. They're kind of like the Navy SEALs of nonprofit. And like the Navy SEALs, they never quit, especially Miranda Cave. And along with the rest of our team who made this incredible night possible, They are really an incredible group of people that I'm honored to work with, and, and also uh, we especially want to thank our colleague Brian Maxwell, who's right now deployed overseas in Afghanistan, and he's going to watch this tonight on video. We miss you, B-Max. Now, of course, we need to thank Ed Vick, our wise but not old board chairman, and his wonderful family and his wife, Stephanie. Thank you all very much for everything you've done for us and you continue to do. Also want to thank Les Gelb, Craig Newmark, Roseanne Haggerty, and the rest of IAVA's board of directors. And a special thanks also to Damian Gilbert and Coach Bill Cower. You guys always have our back, and we appreciate it. Yes. And to everyone else in this room, we appreciate you stepping up to support new veterans and IAVA's critical work. But the people we thank most are the veterans in this room. This night is for you. This entire week, from coast to coast, is for you. Now, it's been a, a historic year for our community. The Iraq War now has an end date. The war in Afghanistan is in its 10th year. Osama bin Laden is dead. And it's been a historic year for IAVA. We made the cover of Time Magazine. It's a big deal. We made upgrades to the new GI Bill. We repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And we've seen our membership grow almost 40% in the last year. Now, we've also suffered tremendous loss in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and here at home. Ten years after 9-11, we've lost over 6,300 brothers and sisters in combat. And we've also lost hundreds, if not thousands, to suicide. Two years ago, Marine Corps vet and proud IAVA member Clay Hunt was at this event. He was here with us. He participated in Storm the Hill, a critical program for us, and was a key leader also in Los Angeles. And in March of this year, our friend Clay took his own life. We were devastated, and we still are. We mourn his loss and countless others, but we also celebrate and take inspiration from lives like Clay's. Clay left this earth 
True. But he left, and he left it too soon. But he left it a better place than he found it. And he worked tirelessly, tirelessly to better the lives of his fellow veterans through IAVA and through Team Rubicon. IAVA would be honored to leave the legacy of leadership and dedication that Clay Hunt did. Even in his passing, we felt his strength and we found our purpose. Now, his memory drives us in our mission to reach every Iraq and Afghanistan veteran out there looking for a supportive community and an opportunity to lead back home, just like Ray Leal. Simply put, the clay hunts of the world are why IAVA exists. We're fighting for health care, education, employment, and a stronger community to empower our membership on every front. And through our Ad Council, Ad Council program that we unveiled at this event just three years ago, IAVA has provided mental health support to over 50,000 veterans. Please. And, and we changed the national conversation entirely. We also helped pass legislation that expanded mental health care benefits and significantly improved care for women warriors. We also upgraded the new GI Bill to extend benefits to thousands more veterans and their families. And through our educational support program, IAVA ensured that over 10,000 veterans, 10,000, got the help they needed to break down the bureaucracy and take full advantage of this important benefit that has now sent over 500,000 new veterans to college. And on the jobs front, our top priority for 2011, our combat to career program has been critical. As unemployment for veterans hits a shocking 30% in some states, 30% folks, we're taking the issue head on. We're showing America that veterans aren't a charity, they're an investment. First, thanks to our partnership with JCPenney, for the second year in a row, we're giving our members a million dollars in new business clothes for interviews. You're gonna see some of these sharp-dressed folks around the room, that's thanks to JCPenney. Next, with the Clinton Global Initiative and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, IAVA is providing smart job fairs for our members across the country. Events that not only connect vets with employers, but also provide resume workshops, interview training, and one of those free suits. We did our first in San Francisco during Fleet Week, and we'll be doing them again in New York, Dallas, Atlanta, and Chicago in the next year, thanks to the money we raise here tonight. And last but not least, just this past Monday, we stood with President Obama in the Rose Garden to ensure that the Vow to Hire Heroes Act is passed. It will be the first, and maybe the only, jobs bill to pass out of this Congress. It will provide crucial transitional training for vets and up to a $5,600 tax credit for businesses that hire them. This bill would be a big win for our vets and for our economy. And we do all this work not just because our veterans want it, but because they deserve it. As these wars wind down, there'll be an impulse for some to move on and forget about them completely. And there will be an impulse to forget about the military families. We can't let that happen. You can't let that happen. In 2008, we all fought together to pass the GI Bill. But now, some in Washington are threatening to cut the funding. They're threatening to cut the GI Bill. As you can see, the fights on the home front are just beginning. Our members are coming home looking for education and jobs and for opportunities to support their families and serve their communities. They are looking to lead. All our programs have one goal in mind, to empower our veterans. They are an investment, not just for IAVA, but for the entire country. They represent exactly what America needs right now, to rebuild its economy and propel its future. Leadership, resilience, commitment to serve, to quote President Lincoln's Secretary of War, Edward Stanton, during the Civil War, he said, you see in these armies the foundation of our republic, our future railway managers, congressmen, bank presidents, senators, manufacturers, judges, governors, and diplomats. Yes, and not less than half a dozen presidents. And hopefully another Stephen Colbert, too. But that potential needs to be tapped and it needs to be invested in. Looking around this room tonight, the return on investment in a veteran should be clear. To name a few, just think about our past honorees. Tammy Duckworth is here tonight. Yeah. 
she accepted IAVA's first Veteran Leadership Award in 2007 and went on to become Assistant Secretary at the VA. Carlos Leon accepted the award in 2008. He overcame a crippling injury and has gone on to represent the U.S. in two Paralympic Games. And there's last year's honoree, Wes Moore, who is a New York Times best-selling author and soon to be the host of his own show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. And he hangs out with Willie Geist and the guys at Morning Joe from time to time, too. And by now, you all know J.R. Martinez. Our 2009 honoree, yeah. Now, he can't be with us tonight because he's busy winning Dancing with the Stars. He's crushing it. He's awesome. And he's posing for the cover of People magazine. Imagine that, a person of substance on the cover of People magazine. We're changing the conversation in a big way. Take that, Kim Kardashian. Now, if you invest in bets, they succeed. It's a pretty simple equation. Invest your support and you'll see in return fortitude, innovation, and leadership in every sector of American life. That's what you see in the men and women at your tables tonight. An investment in a generation of people who can turn our country around. A generation who could lead America into the future. The country rallied behind the greatest generation after World War II. And we can do it again with this generation, but we need your help. This is tough work, folks. It's really tough work. We can't do it alone and we need your help. History has shown us that vets need champions to get the resources they need and the support they deserve. For this generation, IAVA has proven time and time again that we are that champion. We were founded by veterans for veterans. We know the need and we know how to get it done. We just need the beans and the bullets for the fight. That's where you come in. We need you to have our backs. So join us and invest in this newest generation of heroes. We won't let you down. Thank you for coming tonight and enjoy the evening. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you.